Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tammy. I'm gonna be going through my VSG journey very shortly. Um, I'm gonna go over my stats with everyone. When I first started Kaiser Option Program, I was at 291 pounds at orientation. Right now I'm at 238.4. I'm looking at my notes. Um, that's a loss of 52.6 pounds. Um, I was supposed to have my surgeon appointment today. For some reason, the person at Kaiser, it was not there to schedule it completely and submit all my paperwork. So it looks like I won't be having it right away, maybe another week or two. I'm sort of disappointed, but we'll get through it. I'll end up losing a little bit more weight, which will be good. Anyway, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna flip the camera to show you a couple items. Um, I've already prepared for my VSG journey when I have my surgery for the liquid phase and then for the days 4 through 15. So let me go ahead and flip this real quick and show you. Okay, so here I have um, a couple items. This I have to get a few more because basically on the liquid diet, you don't get much. So I have my Propel water um, to drink, which has electrolytes and vitamins in it. I also have Isopure. Um, someone told me that that was really good. I guess you dilute it with water half and half. That way it's not so strong and sweet. Um, a couple of the other girls that I've been following on YouTube have said Smooth Move Tea, as well as Gas Strip, uh, Gas X Strips, which I do have as well. I do have some broth. I need to go get a couple more. I probably won't even be eating that much, but that's what I have so far is just the one. And then Jello and also sugar-free uh, um, popsicles, as long as they're sugar-free. And then these are the vitamins that I had bought. Um, here's the vitamins. At um, Kaiser, they suggest that you get these vitamins. You have to take them, I think, two times a day. And then this is the calcium citrate uh, chews. They're actually pretty good. They're almost like a little bit of a treat. You don't start those until 30 days after your surgery. But I did buy them because I wanted to try them and all that. And I did get these little mini cups, um, hefty mini cups from Walmart, just so I can put water in them. And basically they are two ounces and then that way it will give me an idea of what I need to drink if I'm not drinking everything. So those are the few things that I've bought so far. So I'm gonna flip this back to me now and go over a couple things. So for the zero to three days, basically um, it's just a clear liquid diet. You can have crystal light, you can have the little, add the water, they're actually, sorry, I can't even speak right now. You can add the flavored like crystal lights into water. That way it gives you a little bit of flavor and it's not just completely plain. Um, so I have some of those I'm gonna do, and then also with the Propel and the Isopure. Um, you can also do, they said Diet Snapple, as long as you dilute it, or any type of sugar-free beverage. They said stay away from sodas or anything like that because that could be harmful to the stomach after having the surgery. Um, they also said you can have the soup, low-sodium broth, so I will be having that. I have to get some more probably another beef I'll get and another chicken. And then you can have juice, apple, cranberry, or grape, as long as you dilute it with water, so half and half. And also, like I said, the sugar-free popsicles, they're really good. I have them now and they do help. And then also sugar-free gelatin. <clears throat> so that's for day zero to three. So now for days uh, four through five, you, they want you to try to get in 32 to 64 ounces of fluid. They don't say just water. So like your anything clear, the chicken broth, the popsicles, those all count as your, as your intake. They said also try to get in 60 to 75 protein grams per day, which we'll see what happens when we have the surgery. Might be a little bit hard. Also, you're allowed to have light or non-fat unflavored soy milk. Um, almond milk or fat-free lactate, lactate milk. I guess I'm not, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but I'm sorry if I'm not. Also far as soups on day four through five, um, you can have, I'm gonna flip my, my screen in a few seconds to let you see. 
You can have like the creamy tomato soup, which I do have, and I got it at Trader Joe's and I've tried it before and it's actually pretty good. It's not that bad. And you can also have uh, for carbohydrates, cream of wheat or oatmeal. And also, like they said, you can do sugar-free pudding. And they had told us to take the Premier Protein vanilla and make mix it with that. That way, at least you're getting a little bit of your protein in. Um, let's see, also you can have Greek yogurts, low-fat yogurts. And with, um, let's see, does it say you can have? Yeah, you can have the yogurt. So let me flip this real quick and I'll show you so far what I have. Okay, so I have my Premier Protein. I have the bananas and cream, which is actually really, really good. Right now, before I start my actual VSG, I take that and a half a banana and a tablespoon of PB Fit, and I mix it in the blender with about six to eight ice cubes, and it makes an awesome protein drink. So I have that. I also have the vanilla, and then these are the Trader Joe's organic creamy tomato soups. They are actually very good. And then I have my pudding, sugar-free Jello pudding, as well as the Jello in the first couple days. That has to be sugar-free as well. And then I also have cream of wheat back there. Um, I think you can mix that definitely with the protein, and it will give you a lot more protein. And then also the soups they told us to get were cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. They said you could either pick out the bits of mushrooms and chicken in the two different soups, or if you wanna blend it in a blender, you can do that and leave them in. I also did get a scale, so that way once I do start weighing all my foods, um, it will be a lot easier. And it is a pretty nice scale. It costs, I think, 14 or $16 at Walmart. So basically, let me flip this back and I'm gonna go over a couple more things. And then on day 15 to 30, that's when you can start having moist foods, which is like, yay, that's the good foods. You can have scrambled eggs, Greek yogurt, applesauce, but it has to be unsweetened, no sugar. You can have moist tuna, um, steamed or poached fish, ground chicken, turkey, and soft vegetable burgers. That sounds really good. That will be actually taste yummy when it comes time for that. Also low fat beans, like um, refried beans, but make sure they're low fat. And that's pretty much about it right now. Like I said, I'm still waiting for, I have to call the surgeon's office as soon as I'm done with this video, but I wanted to do a little quick video to let you know what's going on. Cause I was supposed to go to my surgeon appointment today at five. Doesn't look like it's happening. Pretty disappointed, but like I said, we'll get over it hopefully in the next week because they did give me an appointment, but for June 8th, I'm like, June 8th, that's forever away. So I'm hoping that I'll get a sooner appointment today, trying to get my approval from my insurance. That's another phase as well. Anyway, I will be doing another video once I get ready. I will let everybody know once I get my surgery date. Also, I will do a video on what to pack for your hospital bag because I know that's a good idea. I know there's a whole bunch on here, but everybody's different, and I thought I would do a new one so everybody could see. Anyway, hope to see you guys all soon. Subscribe below if you want to, and I will also subscribe to your journey as well. Thank you again. Take care. Bye.